Oprah Winfrey ruled out a 2020 run for public office, but one of the doctors whose career she helped launch into TV stardom is giving it a shot. Dr. Oz just announced his candidacy for U.S. Senate. Nick Smith, he set his sights on Pennsylvania. Adrian, he earned his medical and business degree there, so he's no stranger to the Keystone State. But Dr. Oz is a longtime resident of New Jersey. Just one of the questions surrounding his first ever political race. A TV star with no political experience running for higher office? It didn't keep him from winning. Now this guy's giving it a try. Pennsylvania needs a conservative who will put America first, one who can reignite our divine spark, bravely fight for freedom, and tell it like it is. Dr. Mehmet Oz, a heart surgeon who's made a mint dispensing medical advice on TV, is running as a Republican for the soon-to-be open U.S. Senate seat in Pennsylvania. The announcement comes after the perceived frontrunner, the candidate backed by former President Trump, dropped out amid abuse allegations in a contentious divorce case. But before Dr. Oz can become Senator Oz, he first needs to beat out a crowded field in the Republican primary. I guess I would put him in the top tier just because he does have some name identification and apparently some personal wealth to put in it, but that does not always translate. An experience can be an advantage for a candidate. Often that means no political baggage, but that's not the case for Dr. Oz. No one's telling you not to use passion, but passion in connection with the word miracle, pill, and weight loss is a recipe for disaster. In a 2014 appearance before Congress, senators took him to task for promoting foods and dietary supplements with false claims about weight loss. I never gave them the audience an idea of where to go to buy the stuff. So that opened up a huge market for, for folks to just make fake stuff, real stuff, doesn't frankly matter, and start to use my name to try to sell. He's also made controversial comments on COVID. Last year in a TV interview, he said a 2 to 3% mortality rate was an acceptable trade-off for reopening schools. He later apologized, saying he misspoke. And then there's this carpetbagger question. Dr. Oz is a longtime resident of New Jersey running in Pennsylvania. He just registered to vote in the state using his mother-in-law's address outside Pennsylvania. He's going to be having to transform himself from a New Jersey resident who votes absentee in Pennsylvania from his in-law's house um, into an actual Pennsylvanian. So, I mean, that should be interesting. The Pennsylvania Senate race is crucial to the Republican hopes of reclaiming the Senate. The seat is currently held by Republican Pat Toomey, but he's decided not to seek re-election. Is Dr. Oz the prescription for victory or a tough pill to swallow? We'll find out May 24th, the day of the GOP primary. Yeah, and in case you're wondering, there are plenty of doctors in the House, 13 right now, and four in the Senate. So Dr. Oz wouldn't be the first. Now that he's officially running, his TV show likely won't be shown in Pennsylvania. Two stations have already pulled it. Others could follow suit. That's because of the FCC rule requiring broadcasters to give equal time to all political candidates. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.